Hey guys, how you doing? So today what you're going to work on is you're going to do your next design, which is called a modified design. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, different 3D print files that someone has already uploaded online, and we're going to download them and we're going to modify them. We're going to change them. Okay. So there's a couple steps to doing this. It's really not overly complicated, um, but I like this video so it can help you. You know, you can go back and look at this again um, just to make sure that you got all the steps right. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to find the file. So in Google Classroom, you notice I put the um, myminifactory.com link in there, um, and that's going to bring you to this page. Now, uh, we're going to go up and we're going to click on the um, search bar to search for something that you're interested in looking at. Um, they have a whole bunch of stuff that's in here. You can explore different categories of things. Now, whatever we pick has to be school appropriate. You know that. Okay, this is not um, necessarily 100% all for schools. It's actually not. Um, so that's why whatever you choose in here, you're going to um, just make sure it's school appropriate. Okay, so you can take some time, explore through it. I already know what I'm looking for. Um, if you know what you're looking for, if there's something you're interested in, you just come up here and hit the magnifying glass and you can type it in. So I'm going to put in Darth Vader. Okay. And all of a sudden, you're going to get a whole bunch of Darth Vader stuff. Now, some of this stuff costs money. Everything on here doesn't cost anything that we're going to use. Okay, I don't expect you to spend anything on it. You don't need to spend anything on it. Um, all these are just busts of Darth Vader. Um, as we go down, still a little bit more. They've added a lot more since the last marking period, which is kind of nice. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to jump ahead to the one I want. This is the one I want. So when you get it, you just click on it. Okay. Um, it's going to open it in a new tab. Okay. Um, so now, now some of them like this one, sorry, I just clicked on it. It said community print, um, which is something I don't think you can download necessarily. Um, so if you get something that looks like this, just go ahead and X out of it and look for one that looks like this. Okay. So some of these up, Pretty much all of them will say two dollars support me you don't need to support anybody for anything okay all you need to do is click download all right so i'm going to go ahead click download um i'm going to download only that is totally new they used to not do that now over here what happens is it is downloaded onto um you know onto the chromebook itself so here's where we get to come over here into our tinkercad and now we're going to use the import button now, it says to choose a file. Now, it says Tinkercad supports STL, OBJ, and SVG files. So we're going to go ahead and choose a file. Oh, the other thing, sorry. It says it only opens up to 25 megabytes. All right, so that means it has to be less than 25 megabytes. Even if it says 25 megabytes, it might not actually be 25. It's an estimate, okay, or it's a rounding, shall I say. So if it, you know, if it's kind of like money. Okay, something costs $25.10 and you have $25, you don't have enough money. It's kind of the same concept, okay? It only opens exactly up to 25 megabytes, no more. Uh, so you go ahead and click and choose a file. Um, it's in my download. Oops, it's in my downloads. So now you see it. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click open. And you notice it says it doesn't support it. You're like, wait a minute, Mr. Proud, I downloaded that. You were right. Let's go ahead and look at it one more time. Come on, let's open. Here we go. Okay. Remember we talked about file extensions? Look at the file extension here. It's a .zip or zip. We need to open this in order to get to our file. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on it. And what you're going to notice is it's going to open over here to the left hand side. So double click. Oops, sorry, let me go back and do that again. What happens is you have to open your file first. So the easiest way is once you download it, you can double click on the right lower right hand side where it says show and folder. If not, you need to go to the, um, the tab, not the tab, the little button down here or the magnifying glass on your um, keyboard and click on files. Once you get this, you're gonna double click on it and you notice it opened it down here in the left-hand corner. And now what I have in here are two STL files. So one of them is 10.7 megabytes, the other one is 8.1 megabytes. 
So now once I have that, now what I can do is I can import the file. No, well, it's two files. So some of these are multiple files. Okay. So now you notice here, it says the .zip again. Now if I come back down over here and I click on the left side where it says Darth Vader pencil, now I have those two files. Click on it, open it up. And now here's the part. Um, so now it says it, it's going to be here. Here's the part where you need to have a little bit of patience. Okay, the first one is now open. Um, so that took probably 45 seconds. I cut most of it out for you so you didn't have to wait. Now I need to import the second one. Okay, now fortunately computers are a little bit lazy. They always go back to the last place you were. So since this was the last folder we were in, it's automatically there. I did the first one, now I'm gonna do the second one. Click on it, click open, give it a second, click import. Okay, so that took 40 seconds, just so you know. Um, so you notice it came in upside down, not a big deal. That will happen sometimes. So now you just have to modify each one independently. Um, that's pretty good. Now let me spin it. 180. Okay, now I just have to line it up properly. Yeah, looks pretty good. Oop, yeah, it's close enough. Okay, oops, a little off. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, um, so now let's talk about what is a modification, what is not. What is not a modification? Changing its size, okay? So if I just do this, click on it, make it smaller. Okay, that's not a modification that counts. Can you change its size? Yes, totally, it's fine. Doesn't count as a modification. Right. Um, so I have one done already. This is just one that's a quick example. Put my name into it, use one of the texts in there. It is just Chase. This again is quick. You should spend more time than what I just did showing you this. This is just the one that I use for um, examples each year, um, each class, okay? So have fun. You have this class and next class to get it done. Um, just like last time, I'll show you uh, how you name it. Um, so you know, it's always the same thing, first name, last name, and this time it's gonna say modified. Um, so you have this class to work on it. You will then fill out the Google form just saying you worked on it today. Um, and then I'll put the link up for next class so you can turn it into me. Okay, good luck. Reach out to me if you need any help, bye.